sueño. Es mi sueño. How did this collaboration come about? Oh, this is my brother. I mean, I, I remember when I heard uh, Alo the, Cubano. Alo Cubano. I remember, I remember where I was when I heard that song. <laughs> and it was just incredible, you know. And then getting to know him as a friend, uh, getting to know the human being behind the, the, the musical genius, um, it just kind of, you know, solidified that bond. And we had been talking for a while to do something together and to collaborate. And we were just waiting for the right song, the right moment. God's timing is perfect. And yeah. this song, Sueño, which translates to dream, um, uh, it's just, it really hit home, uh, you know, seeing what's happening back home to our people. And Yotuel, did you two work on the lyrics together for this song? Yeah, it was very funny because uh, uh, Giancarlo called me and said, hey, I'm in the studio, I um, have a, a big idea to, to, to roll a song together. I said, yeah, but I'm with my son. I said, no, don't worry, come. It's very, it's quickly. I said, okay, okay. I put my son in the, in the car, I go to the studio. My son gets sleep. Oh, I can't, yeah, his I can't son get his head. asleep in the car, oh. in the back seat. <laughs> we were literally what he's saying is exactly what happened because we didn't even go inside the studio. Right, like this song was written in the parking lot of the studio <laughs> with his son sleeping in the back seat in about seven minutes. He wasn't even there for ten minutes. It was just we were so clear on the vision and what we wanted to speak on mm -hmm. uh, that it just flowed that beautifully, that organically. Do you feel in a way that you're writing this song for your son and for the next generation? Yes, definitely that song talk about, about dreams, you know, dream, hope. Um, I, I tried to teach my son to, to be um, honest. Um, um, luchar por causa justa, to fight for, for justice. For justice, and he said something that's beautiful and powerful. That we wish we never had to write this song. Yeah, you know, and I, I heard him say that, and it's it, it 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 hit it hit home. It hit home because you're he's he's totally right. It's unfortunate that a song like this has to be written, but it is a reality we need to face, and you know. And people, you know, are losing hope. And you said something that I really need to touch on, you know, and it's true. You don't see people, you know, outside, you know, protesting in favor of Hitler. You know, the Holocaust yeah. is, mm -hmm. is a very, very tragic event that it doesn't matter whether you're Jewish or not. We all stand by the Jewish community because it's just there is no controversy there's no and no. yes you have your unfortunately it's you have your human and, and i am jewish it's, it's, hu too. it's humanity so. it's humanity there's there's 10 million plus people in the island of cuba that are being you know brutally murdered and beat and imprisoned just for having a different opinion than the hitler that's in power right now and it's happening 90 miles away from us right here so these songs, you know, it's just, I know there's so much, we're, we're exposed to so much tragedy in the world and it's almost as if these tragedies, we were talking about it yesterday, yeah. are competing, competing against yeah. one another. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's our responsibility as Cuban American and Cuban to not forget our own tragedy and right. what's happening to our own people. And that's why songs like these continue to be written and we, we bring them to the table because we, we, we need to continue to shine a spotlight in the name of justice and in the name of humanity, uh, you know. Uh, and we know how, how powerful music can be. Sueño de libertad.